Hello there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures and we're finally, I hope, I'm sure, on the last video for this, this journal which I'm really pleased with how this is turning out but now we need to just stuff all those pockets with all the bits and pieces that we made in the first videos that I did with you earlier in the year or earlier in last year for you <laughs> um, and uh, so all, all the um, tags and journal cards and other bits and pieces that are made are all in this box so now we need to put them all in the journal so I'm just going to work my way through and put things in so obviously we've got this belly band at the beginning so this is the things that I made this is the bookmark that I made to go in here I'm going to have to put it in from a, this way up I think because because of the uh, dingle dangles so pop that in there and then this is the envelope from uh, from one of the kits. I think most of the ephemera that I've used is from the Caroline's Craft Tree kit. Uh, some of them are for Home Book and Treasure, and I can't remember which one this comes from. I haven't yet written my letter to my friend, but that will go in here, um, and I will print it. It'll be it'll be a bit like um, I've got this this um, quite nice I think it's parchment paper. It looks looks like old parchment paper, and I shall put it on print it onto a, a page like this and put it in here so that's how it'll look I don't really need to show it to you when it's actually done but I can show how it'll look in the journal I think it'll go in like that pop in behind there so that's how it'll look so that's that and I must remember to actually put the letter in there and not leave it like that now otherwise that would look a bit odd if there's nothing in it right so this is the first pocket so let's dive in and start choosing um, so I do have this, which is the uh, the little flip out booklet that I made from um, G Kerr. So I might just pop that right in at the beginning because that'll go in there quite nicely. And it's got the um, the dress form on the front, and it just ties in with that. And it's got the pink, which has got the background in pink. So I think that goes in there quite nicely. And that's that one. And then in here. I already had, just because I thought it went really well, I've already got this little journaling card popped in there. I just like that. So I've just got to find a few more things to go in. So let's let's have a look, see what we've got. I'm just going to take out a pile out of my box and have a look through them, see what we can pop in. So I need some little things to go in the bottom there. Not that one, not just yet. So I've got this. That could pop in there. So that's been backed. I mean, you can write on that. It's It's been sewn around and, and that goes in because it pulls in the colours. So that, I was just trying to find something that, um, that has similar colours. I think that might be a bit bulky. This is a little, little booklet, little, um, little notebook. Um, could possibly pop that in the back there. So then you've got that. Well, it's going to catch on those buttons, though. Isn't it? Oh, it might be all right. I could pop that in there. Um, I've just got something to put in here. Let's try that. Is that going to go in? It's not quite right, is it? It's another one that's a little bit bulky. This is my little foldy outy one. It's a bit possibly a bit wide. Just trying to find these are all in the wrong sort of um, colour scheme really. These are more vintagey and this is quite a this is almost more more fifties style. These are these are a bit older looking. No, that's too big. And a few more bits. Well, that's a over the page and belly clip, which I may, I may or may not find a home for. That's too big. I've got this and this. These are little. Maybe if I put no, I quite like that there. That pop in there.
how far down that goes actually. Maybe like that. I'm not sure about the colour on that. Hum hum hum. go. So there we are. That's, that's all nice and stuffed. Okay. Right, need something to go in here. big that might go there for quite nicely all colours will go together so that will work I'll probably get I'll probably find that I haven't got enough things but I have got my other box with extra stuff in okay so now I've got this uh, pocket here and So that could pop out there, that goes quite well. I seem to have got this little girl on just about everything. It's another thing I want on on all the all the bits. So let's see what we've got here. Journaling card there. These are a variety of these are all from um I think a lot of these are from Home Book and Treasure. A lot of these ephemera cards. They've all been backed. Just got to find one that goes goes in and fits quite well. Oops, that's got stuck a little bit there. There we go. Oh, has that come up apart a little bit? It's just coming away from its backing a little bit. So I've got my glue handy just in case anything needs any remedial work. I'm slightly lacking now I'm looking at it a large tags got quite a few small things but not many oh, that would go there look not many large ones so I think yes because look ha <laughs> same lady yeah that goes nicely there all right So now we've got the belly band. So here we need something really large-ish. Right, so this is the last of our whoops, big thing. So what's that? It fell on the floor. It's another tag, but it's... Uh, too small, too narrow, and yeah, let's have a think, what can we put in here, 
I think I need some. I'm going to look in my other box. See if I've got anything bigger. Let's just put these all over here. Put my pin in my glue. It's a bit tricky at a distance. Hang on. Right, I'll just go and get my other box, see if there's anything suitable. Right. I've got a whole load of stuff in here that I could possibly use and, and maybe add some sewing details to. Um, that into a tag and zhuzh it up a bit I guess. Um, bum, 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 bum. What's that? That's, that's more of a pocket. Um, don't know if you can see what I'm Let's move things over a little bit. All sorts of bits of pieces. Some of these are actually pockets rather than tags or anything. Just thought I'd see if there was anything that would that I could just pop in without too much effort. It's more of a side tuck that one. And these are all my belly bands. Best bet. We'll need a little bit of decoration. Okay. No, a lot of pockets, not a lot of tags. Just goes to show. I think I'm making a lot of things that I want and um, all that I need, and um, turns out I didn't make the right things. So I could, so that will go in there quite nicely. I probably could fit in another one. The colour's not right for that one. And the colour works really well with this uh, belly band, doesn't it? So I might just make that into a tag. Let's check the back. Yep, that's backed. probably want to sew around it afterwards off camera right just check the edges oh yeah look that needs gluing down seem to be all right. right. 
I'll just have a little ink ground and have a think where what I might put on here. So I haven't got a huge amount of ephemera left now. I may have to pause so I can go and, go and find some things to put on it because I hadn't really planned to, to do any decorating. But inevitably, there's always something you haven't you haven't got that you need. Right. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video for a moment while I go and have a quick look. I am back, um, and it's actually a day later because um, once I thought about it I got this tag done which is the one I went off to find some things for and I realized I was going to need more than one tag so I kept on going and made a few more so so I've now got so this one's done with a, with a thimble um, that's from a digital kit and a bit of stamped fabric and lace and a little topper on it and I've stitched around this one as well um, and then I did this one which has got few little bits some really lovely um, vintage lace on there and a doily and a couple of little um, um, cutouts from a digital kit just decorated it up a bit and I used the one of the digital one of the digitals uh, one of the kits to, to back it it was just a piece of card stock that I had um, so that was that one and I just put a bit of lace as a topper on that one and I've stitched around this one it's the only two I stitched around the others were a bit too thick because I've used um, some junk mail for some of them and they were quite thick so it didn't make I didn't want to damage my sewing machine so anyway I'll show you uh, so this one is has also been covered it's just a, that was a, another just a piece of card that I'd already printed with some um, coffee dye um, design on on one side so I just decorated the other side so that's this one so that's some just a few bits and pieces some lace and a doily and that's a nice long one and then this is a, a short fat one but it's still quite chunky um, and then this is quite a thick one it's really that, that was some uh, quite solid um, cardstock from a uh, from junk mail I think so I did a bit of um, stamped stitching around the edge of this one and then this is a piece of uh, from the digital kit and one of these dress forms that I really like I've used these quite a lot I've used these on a couple of my digitals on a couple of my tags and a bit of lace um, and then I did this one, a nice long one, and um, I put a piece of ruffle, ruffle on the side, I stamped her on it, although she's ended up with having leaves in her eyes because of, <laughs> because of where I positioned it, but there we go, the, the material was, the paper was already there and I stamped on it and then I thought, oh I didn't quite, quite get that right, but never mind. And I put a little pocket on it as well, just because I couldn't help myself. And a bit of um, stamp stitching around the sides, and that's just been backed with some... Um, parchment paper oh and this one's coming unstuck sorry this is a um, more of a, a, a large journaling card to go into a side tuck and I've just seen that the uh, the bit of trim wasn't quite stuck down at the bottom so I better rectify that Oops. everything's falling over my right so I better just finish that off and then we'll get back to putting them into the uh, into the book. So. Right. So yeah, I just I just kept going. I could, I thought well, there's no there's no point in doing that on on film. You've seen me make tags and other things to probably more than you could possibly ever want to see again. So I thought it wouldn't make sense for me to film myself doing that, and it did take me a while to decide what I was going to use and get it all back out and decide how I was going to decorate them all. Yeah, it took me most of the day. <laughs> well, not most of the day, but it took me a fair while. As things tend to do, so I just thought, get them done. And then we'll come back and continue today if I can get the uh, Fabri-Tac to work. Maybe I'll have to use the art the art glitter glue that probably work as well but it's because it's a trim rather than a lace I like to use this because it's a bit 
stronger, I, you know, I think it, it grabs a bit more. Well, I thought it did. I obviously didn't put a, put quite enough glue on when I did it yesterday. There we go. Hopefully that will be sufficient this time. A little bit of little bit of tray, uh, trim I picked up in the antique shop. It was a big tangle, but I put it um, I put it all on this uh, cardboard reel that I made, and it's worked really well. It took a while because it was so tangled up; it was like a big bunch of it. And anyway, that's what I did with it. So hopefully that is now stuck on nicely. So that's a big journaling card, so. That's like that. So there we go. Let's see. Let's get let's get cracking now. After this unseemly delay. So where were we? We got to here. Um, and I think that goes quite well in there, even though it's not that long. But we'll see. I might I might depends how many of the big ones I need to use. So this one was a little bit short to go in here, although it went really well, didn't it? I'll leave it there for now because I quite like the way it matches up with everything else around on this page. Ah, now this is where it started, wasn't it? I wanted something for my belly band. I think I was going to use that, so let's let's pop it in there and see. So that's poking up a little bit, so I might just add a little bit more glue there. Don't want that catching as it goes in and out, do we? So that might be all right. Okay, so that's in there. And I think you know the colours go quite well with the with the belly band itself. So that's that. That goes quite well. Right, then we have this pocket here and a smaller pocket here. So I don't need a huge one in here. I don't think. So I'll just pull over all some of my other bits and pieces and there is that one that, would, that, would that go in here any sorry just thinking I've also got maybe if I put her in there oh where'd that come from is that on here I don't know where that came from it doesn't feel like it's had glue on it I might find a home for that so I've got this tag, but obviously it's not enough on its own. Um, yeah, well, I'll have to think about that. I'll leave those two in there and come back and see what what might go in. I don't want both of them in there because that wouldn't that would be a bit of like overkill. Um, right, let's try and find some. Oh, there's a pocket. It's not really going to be usable. So I just dropped another tag on the floor. Right, let's have a look at all these bits and pieces and see what I can put in. So I need a smallish tag for the, that's too, too tall, or a small card. Would that go in? Yes it would. Oh that goes in there quite nicely. Put that in there. Could pop that behind there, and what else? Put a couple of things behind there, couldn't I? Just a couple of those things would go in there. Right, Let's go with that. Okay, so now we've got my. Uh, envelope flip out. So this one needs a journaling card to go in here and I do believe I intended the one that I... St that's right, this one to go in there. I think this was the one for in here. Just check if it fits. Yes it does. Yes that can go in there nicely. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just popped in here. Okay, so that's that. And I like the, 
a little bit of lace pop popping out. And then I need a big one, a big t uh, journaling card or tag really, to go in here. So I think one of my new ones needs to go in here. Now let's have a look. This might be the one. If I can get it in. I haven't tried these, I've just made them and hope they would go in somewhere. So I think that will go in there all right. So, yes. Okay. And I've got another pocket here. This is all getting a bit chunky now. Getting a bit worried. I may have to uh, rethink some of these. Um, maybe I think that would go quite nicely in there. Yes. And she pop in there. I think that just about go in there okay. Well, oh, I've got another one to go in here. I've got a little booklet. That, will that fit there? Hmm, not sure about that. What else we got? Now, I don't need that to be quite so big. Oh, what about this one? It's just a little journaling card. That might go in there quite nicely. That's it. Okay. Nothing there. So in the second half now. So I've got something to go in here. Is that too big? Now that's going to go in a belly band, I think. Oh, what about this one? I don't know if you've seen this one. I think I may have made this off camera. It's something I saw Gail Gostinelli making and using the. Um, the pattern, you know, the um, pattern paper, you know, that brown pattern paper that I used to line my book with. And she made this, she made one of these where you just fold it up and then you make it into a little flip. So I've just decorated it with these cute little cards that were in one of the kits and they've got some nice little sayings. So there's one on the back and that one there and that one there. And she says, as I sit here and sew, I work with a happy heart. For I fasten in joy, I fasten in hope, and of all thing, good things apart. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but um, I thought it was rather sweet. So, and, and it goes quite nicely with this little pocket here, doesn't it? With the little girls and her there. It just goes nicely, I think. So I'm popping that in there. This one needs a reasonable sized, possibly needs a tag. Or two. Maybe I'll put those in there. Let's see what else I've got that I could put in. A little. Put those in there, I think. There we go. I don't think I need. I could put a journaling card in here, I guess. Um. What have I got? I must put things on this side because I'm missing them. I may come back and see if I've got anything left to go in there because I'm not too sure what I want to put in there at the moment. I don't want to use all my big journaling cards and find I haven't got anything left that I, I need for a side tuck or something. Gosh, this is getting chunky. It's where, What's the problem? I think it's this. I think this is too. Th I may have to take this this card out because I think it's just too fat. And it's, and it's stuck. Oh no! What's going on? Oh, it's got caught on something. <laughs> oh dear me! Let's just see if I can clear it a bit. There we go. 
I think that was just making it all too fat. So I may have to pop that in somewhere else. Okay, let's see if that's a little bit better now. Okay, so where are we? Here. So I need a little, little doodad to go in there, don't I? Um, let's forget those. I've got some little things. Oh, and I've got a belly band here. Right, belly band. I'm going to put one of these. Is that going to go in? No, it's not quite right. Aha, this is the lady, I think. I think this is the one I want to put in here. Yep, that goes in there nicely. And then have I got a little card I can put in there? Yes, that's quite a nice colour. It goes, pulls out the blues. There we go, that goes in there. A little something for there. We'll do a stitch in time, shall we? No, it's not flat enough. Well, I hope I'm going to have, try, have room to put some of these little bits in. Um, maybe put that in there. Let's see how we go. All oh, right. where that can go. A little bit of sticking up. Just pop that. I don't want, I don't want bits of lace to catch because then they'll start to look tatty. Let's try and stick it down with a bit of the art glitter glue. in there. Nothing on those pages. Right. Now that's going to go... So that can go in here. Oh, it's come away a little bit. That's meant to be stuck all the way down the side. I wonder if I need to put some, I think I'd better put some um, fabric tack on that because it's possibly not catching well enough because of the lace. same on the other side. Oh, it's come away completely, hasn't it? I didn't do a very good job of sticking this down, that's for sure. This should hold it, though. some reason this side didn't catch very well in the top. Alright. Okay, so I put what will I put in some of these pockets? In that pocket. Now the other one thing I was going to show you loads of bits here to put in. I don't think there's room for everything. Right, so what, one of the things I've got, and I've got to squeeze find a room to put these things in. I'm not sure where they're going to go. They had these, um, one of the kits, I think it must be Caroline's Craft Tree. Um, she had so many different um, 
ephemera pieces to, to print and cut out. And she did these little na uh, little needle cases. So you you cut it out, and the whole when it's on page, it's like that. And then you cut it out and fold it all up, cut a little slit, and you've got a little needle case. So that's the the empty one. But I have done these two that I've put things in, so I've got to find room for these. So this one, open it up. And it's got a little piece of felt with a, um, a magnet stuck to it. And I've just put some needles, because it's a needle case. So I've just put a few needles in there, just, just for a little bit of fun, to, so she's got a little something to discover. So, and then you pop that in there. And this one is, yeah, this is the one that just tucks right in there like that. It's really pretty, that one. So there's that one, so I might be able to pop that in this pocket. Do I make it rather fat though? That's the trouble. Ooh, I'm going to have to have a think about this. Anyway, so then I've got this one, which has got the little, I did, I cut two slits so that it cuts, goes right through. You open it up, open it up, and it's got a little bit of tissue paper inside that's st stuck in. And when you open up the tissue paper, da -da 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 -da, there's a little needle threader inside which is they're very handy to have especially when when you're getting on a bit and it's hard to see what you're doing when you're threading a needle I've already I had a pack with three in so I thought I'd give her one of them because I, I find them very useful and it's just handy to have that so it may be that some of these things I might have to do something to give her with it or something if it's going to be too fat in the journal um, we will see. Okay, so I have got a little diddly tag I could pop in here. And what other tags have we got? Oh, there's that one. That one be, go better? Oh no, not in there. Maybe this one's better in here. Maybe I'll put that behind there. This one in here. Maybe a couple. Right, that's going to be too. The button's making this a bit bulky, isn't it? Right. Well, this is a. Right, okay. Oh dear. Running out of space for everything. Right, okay. So. Maybe that can go in there. Um, anything else? Should I try and pop this in here? Try. Like that. Oh, then I've got these pockets. So I've got one to go behind there. And what else have we got? Anything there? No. Anything? Oh, I've got these little tiddly ones. Oh, maybe one of those. Maybe those. Ooh. Maybe one of those would go in here. A couple of those. They're quite cute, aren't they? Maybe put a couple of those in there. Whoop. To that. And then I could put her in there. Little journaling card. Can that go in? Where did I s I don't know where I've left the opening. I stuck it all down. That wasn't very clever. Right, I need a narrow. There we are. That can go in there. That can go in there. Like that. Oh, pockets upon pockets. Okay, so this one can now go in the 
back of here. Like that. Good, good. And is that going to be too fat to go in there? Make, busy making these things you go <laughs> don't always think about how much room they're going to take up in a pocket and that one's not going to work is it because it's because of that that might have to be put aside okay what about this little little journaling card okay that fits there that's quite fat there but I haven't got a lot left I mean, I could put that in, but I want to get this in somewhere. We're nearly, nearly there now. There was a there we go. This journaling card, I think, will pop in here. Look, the yellow picks up the yellow over here, so that kind of works. So that's that. Then there's the writing board, which goes in here. And then I've just got to try and find something to go in here. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can get away with putting this in here. <laughs> and maybe this? No, that's just not going to work, is it? I wonder if I can tuck that in somewhere. Right, and I've got this little sewing sewing dudette which I might have to try and squeeze in somewhere well for now I'll leave that here like that there we are. right let's just review what we've done I'm not even sure this will close now <laughs> oh my goodness look at this oh dear I may have to review what I've done here. <laughs> oh no! I think she's going to look at this and say, what the dickens is that? Monstrosity. So, yeah. There's a lot of things in here. Um, I may have to thin it out a little. I might take, take that out. What I might do is perhaps give her, make an envelope and put a few extra bits in that she can use to write on and, and mix and match and put them in or not as she wishes. Because I think this is all just so, so junky. I, mean, I didn't even figure this out, did I? Take that one out, put that one in. Yeah, that's what I might have to do. Um, possibly take that one out. Um, I do like that there. Make sure that's sticking out and not taking up bulk. I wonder. Could I possibly just sneak this in here? Because it would go rather nicely in there, wouldn't it? Turn that down. Just make sure that uh, make sure this is stuck down properly. I think there's overstuffed and then there's ridiculous. <laughs> I know I know we do like putting in a gate amount. Oh, I might put that separate and just put something simple in there. I wonder if the... Uh, no, that's not going to go in, is it? This might just pop in here. That might be better. And then I'll just... Perhaps I'll just put together a little envelope of bits and pieces that she can add if she wants to. that there I 
and just thin it out a little. These aren't these aren't particularly bulky. So you could get two things in there, but or that would have gone in there quite nicely too. It's a shame really. Mm. I do like that there. Sometimes you just have to put things in where they belong. I wonder if that would look better there. It's longer. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. I'm just going to put my light on. I don't know if that's in bit any better. I hope it is. I hope you can still you can see. It's actually it's not even midday yet, and it's got really dark. I'm just gonna put put my uh, extra light on. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a bit brighter. As I say, it's still very. Uh, you know, it's only mid morning, and it's really dark. So miserable day. Anyway, so I think we're nearly there anyway. I'm just trying to see if I can thin it out just a little bit more without sort of compromising the, um, the book too much. Yeah, I think they need to be there really. don't really think that quite works. Maybe this little one would be better or maybe just another one of these cards I suppose that might fit in it looks quite nice there but I think it's too bulky um, one of these it's another button, buttony one yeah maybe that one would be better because it's flatter and then it's just a journaling card right on the back there Um, I think that might have to come out. Might be able to put that in somewhere else, you know, the back or the front. So, what can I put in here? Ooh, put that in. That's got all three colours of the dress forms, doesn't it? Maybe if I did that. Or. <laughs> I know why I keep trying to put this in, but I just like it. But it's it's not going to work. Or is it? No, it's this, it's this one. I close it. It's going to make it too bulky. I just stop trying to get that in, Karen. That's not going to work. So that actually looks better than that one, I think. And then we've got this pocket with little the little diddlies, and that one, and that one. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, I really want to get that in. I wonder if I can. Is that going to work? Let's hope that that's okay. And there's this. Feel something coming up here. It's worth just going through this just to check that there's nothing, no loose bits, no loose corners. Yeah, thought I could, thought I could feel something. Alright. 
think I'm going to try and try and leave that in. Leave all those in there. They all seem to work quite well together. And then that one works really well in there. So I was just wondering whether I could pop this. <laughs> I'll move this over a little bit. Pop this in here. That goes quite quite well. So what's oh hang on. I've got a little tag in here, a little pocket here. Why did I put a pocket there? Tell me, why do I put a pocket there? Oh, I'm just going to ignore it. And I need to stick this down a bit. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> that makes life easier. Keep catching. Okay. Put that in there. And that goes in there like that. All right. Shall we have another try at shutting it? See if it looks any better. Well, it's going to look, look a lot better, but maybe slightly more manageable. I think the next test will be to see if I can actually tie it up. So I've got, I've got this piece of sari silk, which I thought would go quite well with the colours, or some of the colours. And after all, I am turquoise treasures, so I should put some turquoise on it. Let's try. It might just about be long enough. If I give it a good tight tie, maybe it won't look too bad. There we are. It's even got a little bit of room. I can really uh, to adjust it. But I'll um I might retie it so it's a bit more even, but there we go. I better cut these on the angle so they don't fray any more than absolutely oh, I think oh they I think they already are, at least that one was. Already cut on the angles. This one isn't. Let's retie it so it's actually more even. Okay, that will do. I've still got a long one here. I'll, I'll sort it out. But there we go. I've got a few extra bits here, which I may put into a little, oh, I forgot the, board, the writing board, I forgot to put this back in, oh well, I'll put that, I'll put that back in as well afterwards. So I think what I'll do is I'll make, possibly make a little envelope and just pop a few extra bits in, just in case, now that I've made them, or I'll just put them in my stash. She may find that this is quite enough stuff. Okay, so there it is. There it is, boys and girls. We finished. Um, I know it's a bit chunky, but I do hope you'll love it. I love all the all the fabrics and the laces and all the bits and pieces sticking out and the, the thing I do I do I like the feel of it. I hope she loves it. I really do. But I've loved making it and I've really enjoyed sharing it with you as I've gone on this journey for um for something that you know so many so many firsts in this journal for me and um so please do join me again for my uh, next adventure um i'm going to be working on a wedding journal um next i think that's the plan i don't i'm not probably not going to do it in the same way i did this one where it's absolutely start to finish where i do everything on camera um but i'll do you know the bulk of it on, on camera you'll see it and I'll try and mix it up with some other things in between so you're not just watching one journal being built for the next or however many months um, and that one would be for um, a wedding that's taking place in June so it gives me a bit of time but it's going to be all lace and pretty stuff so I'm quite looking forward to making a start on that 
So, thank you for sticking with me through this long journey. But we now have a little, a little chunky journal. Bye for now.